Hello there guys, welcome back to the E-Bike Repairs YouTube channel. My name's Dash and I take apart and fix super fun and exciting things like this. This is a uh, Whirlwind? Whirlwind C4, I think it is, battery pack, uh, 42 volts, so 36 volt battery, 5 amp hour. Not very big. Um, tiny, tiny little thing, I can only assume it's what, 10S2P? I guess. Um, anyway, this one is not working. It's the, the long and short of it. Um, this bar is what screws it into the bike so it goes inside the frame and um, yeah so as I say it's not not working why is it not working we're about to find out together Pop this heat shrink off here I'm going to try and keep it kind of intact because then I can work out exactly where it needs to go if I do end up uh, rebuilding this pack then at least I can sort of work it out. Because it should kind of fit back in the heat shrink, you know, like that, and then I'll know where to stick the new bit on. I might even put this, rebuild it in this, put that round it, and then reheat shrink it with a new piece to get it in exam. Oh, no, that wouldn't work. Yes, it would. Because you'd still just pop a hole in it. Yeah, that might work. And then it would be in exactly the right place. Although I'd imagine there's some leeway. Right, we've got. Um, Discharge positive, negative, and I'm assuming charge positive and negative here. So discharge positive, discharge negative, charge positive, charge negative. And then I think there'll be extra charge wires in case the charge puts on this, uh, the, the battery side of the bike as opposed to the after the hinge side of the bike. Um, inside it, we're going to have, I'm guessing then, that there will just be 20 cells. All I can imagine. Oh, there's certainly tape. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Well, I tried, didn't I? Um, let's have a little slicey slice. Oh, grey cells. Sure what they are off the top of my head, but I'll do a little bit more looking in a moment. So what we've got is a ooh, that looks like a leaky cell right there, doesn't it? That discoloration there. Doesn't smell particularly good or bad. That one there is a little rusty. That one there almost looks like it might have leaked as well. As I say, it doesn't smell particularly bad, but it could well be that that's what's gone on. There's our little BMS. It's probably just a 15 amp little thing. Here we go. SW. SW18650 26 HPA. 21C28W066905, so that'll be a 2600 milliamp hour, so 2600 milliamp hour, 2.6 amp hour, uh, 18650 cell SW, maybe Sino Watt, perhaps, um, and then with it being two lots of 2600 times it by two, you get your 5.2 amp hour. Um, it's made, I'm going to be honest, a little poorly. There's no uh, insulation between any of the cell groups. So theoretically, if they rub together enough, they could short out. It's not ideal. Got our JST here, split. Horrible BMS situation in the middle. Don't like that, but it is what it is. Um, let's measure a few cells and see what we can see. Today I did not leave my multimeter on the floor, which is quite the bonus. Um, what have we got then? So our main positive and negative must be here. So that will be main positive to main negative. I wonder if you can see that all right. Yeah, you can see that fine, can't you? Main positive to main neg, 39.93. That's not bad, is it? That's almost fully charged. Oh, we could have a BMS problem. So let's go. 
going into here. 4.07, 4 4.06, 4.08, 4.08, 4.08, 4.08, 4.08, 4.08, 4.08, 4.08, 4.08, 4.08, 4.08, 4.08, 4.08, 4.08, 4.08, 4.08, 4.08, 4.08, 4.08